nerds, what's up? Today's video is going to be all about my contemporary a thon TBR. If you didn't know, the contemporary a thon is hosted by Chelsea from Chelsea Dolling Reads, Julie from uh, pages and pens. Her Twitter is according to Jules, so I got confused for a second there. And Natasha from My Reading is Odd. The Contemporary Thon is running from the 17th of September to the 23rd of September, which is also the first day of Banned Bookathon, and there will be a TBR for that coming up too because I decided to participate and I'm insane. What's new? I don't know, nothing, I guess. So let's just go right on into it. So I'm not going too crazy. There are seven challenges and I'm doubling up for all of them so I will only be reading four books this week. Um, if I read more, great. This start of September, it's the 10th today filming this. I haven't finished a book yet this month. I've been reading two but finished none. So we'll see how my reading goes. Hopefully I will pick it up a little bit more but for now I'm struggling but that's okay. So the first two challenges that I'm going to be covering is orange on the cover and read a dark taboo or spooky book. So for that one I am going to be reading The Girls by Emma Klein. I'm cheating a little bit. Is this red or is this orange? I don't know. I'm deciding to call it an orange. I mean like is it orange or is it red? I don't know. I'm going to be reading The Girls by Emma Klein. I got this from uh, Book of the Month, which is a really cool subscription box. I talk about it all the time. If you want a free book with your first time that you buy the subscription box, you can use my link down below. I'm not an affiliate. It's just a referral code. You get one when you sign up too. And they're a really cool monthly service. But this one is um, following the Charles Manson cult, I think. I don't really know a lot about it and I don't really want to know a lot about it, but I'm planning on reading this and it's a contemporary, so this one. The next two challenges that I'm going to cover are read a diverse contemporary and read a new to you author, which is going to be Summer of Salt. Now, this is the only one that's like not really contemporary. Th uh, contemporary. It's more like magical realism or like urban fantasy. I'm not sure which one it more is in the category, but Chelsea from Chelsea, Chelsea Dolling Reads loved this book when she read it for, I believe, Booktubeathon, and so I'm just cheating a little bit to be able to use a host's really favorite book. So I'm hoping to like this one. Me and magical realism don't always get along, but from what I've heard, it's like very obvious that there's going to be magic in it, which is more preferred, preferred to me than when it's like too subtle and like why is it there? So hopefully I like this. The next two challenges that one of the books covers is number is read a book in a non-traditional format and read a five-star prediction. Now initially I was going to read this on ebook which would be kind of non-traditional for me because I prefer to not read um, ebooks but then Chelsea and I hung out and she gave me a copy of The Hating Game. This isn't what I was going to read. But I had it in my head that this was the same book because they both are the same colors, but this is not on my TBR. So I'm going to be reading the ebook of The Kiss Quotient. That's the plan, not The Hating Game. Although like, if I finish all my books on my TBR, then maybe I will read this. But no, I'm planning on reading The Kiss Quotient, which I will be reading on, I think I'm actually gonna read it on audiobook um, because I found an audiobook on Hoopla. So I think I'm gonna do that and it's a five-star prediction. It's about a girl who has autism and has never slept with anyone before, so she hires a male escort to like show her the ways, and I think that it's a romance between the two of them ending up, and I'm really excited about it. I don't know what else to say. The last challenge that I haven't hit yet is to read a book with your initials on the cover, so I'm going to be reading Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. Now my initials are KMB, so Nabokov has a K in it, and Vladimir has an M in it, and Nabokov has a B in it. So, and there's also an R in there, and so when I get married, I'll be KMR. So it wins. Um, now this also is a little bit of a cheating because this isn't exactly a contemporary, but when it was written, it was a contemporary. So I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> We're just gonna. That's it. So those are the four books that I plan on reading during Contemporaryathon. Like I said, of course, if I read all of those, then I will add to the TBR. I want to get to the upside of Unrequited this month, so maybe I'll pick that up. Um, it also is going to be due to the library during that week, so like I need to read this ASAP. 
And then I also would love to read The Hating Game, so maybe I'll pick this up if I have time, and we'll just see and go from there. So those are the books that I'm planning on reading this coming week. I'm so excited for the Contemporary Thon. I'm just so excited, like, hopefully it's going to make me read more. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself because I'm really fucking busy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I make videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so you can always hit that little notification bell if you want to be notified every time I make a video. And I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye! I wish I could